good morning y'all i'm maya j of life as maya j and welcome to my youtube channel so i'm just now getting up justice is still sleeping um but today's agenda includes us both getting our hair done i have to do something to my hair and i need to do something to her hair yesterday she got into my vaseline and put vaseline all in her hair so i'm gonna take her braids out and so yes i'm about to get I'm about to do her hair so that she can be ready to go with my dad later on. Because I did intend on going to a party. Even if I don't go to a party, I'm going somewhere. I am getting out of the house and doing something. I don't even know where did that come from. Yeah, I need to get out of the house and do something. Where is all this hair coming from? I need to get out of the house and do something. Though. So, one of my friends said that she was having a party today i don't know if she's still gonna do that because she said it was a block party and it was really good me out time so i don't know um my brother's girlfriend's in the hospital getting ready to deliver my nephew i'd hope and you know best wishes to them today is dior's birthday so happy birthday to our little cousin dior just his cousin my little cousin um, she just turned two, so yeah. Today, really, like I said, I'm just working on getting our hair done, and then the other thing that I wanted to do was get started on a salon project. I did just go to the Walmart and get a bunch of stuff so that I could, um, so that I could sew. I initially, I mean, I went to the Walmart to get the stuff so that I could hand sew what I was gonna do. And then I went to the storage and did go and get my sewing machine. Um, but I didn't see my tables when I went to the, oh my God, excuse me. I didn't see my tables when I went to the, to the storage. I don't know where the fuck my tables are at. I just had two little black tables. I don't know if I left them at the old apartment and they just got gotten rid of by now, but I have zero idea. But I don't have a table to put my sewing machine on, so I can't actually use the sewing machine quite yet until I get something to set it up on. But until then, I'm just going to um, hand sew it. So let me show y'all the little kit that I got from my um, So I also got a little black zipper for if I you know, need it a little, down, I mean, a little down the line. I got some fabric here. But I did buy some new fabric to work with for this in particular. Oh, let me show you how to work this. So, it's got this storage case. And I'm always buying new like, craft supplies. It never fails. So, you take this latch down. I already did it. But take the latch down and you this up. That's how you open it on the top. So you got your big things of thread. Mm -hmm. Top drawer, nothing was in it. Um, you got your little things of thread. You got your cottons. For the sewing machine, I don't know if they'll fit my sewing machine, but we're gonna see um, eventually. I don't need to right now. I've got these pins. Safety pins, needles, and these are what I'm gonna be using. Um, I got needle threaders, two thimbles. I also have buttons. Okay, yeah, we got buttons. I don't know why. Is there a hole in the back or something? Yeah, it's gotta be like a hole in the um, Okay, yeah, there's a hole in the back. So we got buttons. I'm sorry if I look blind because I really don't. I don't have my glasses on. I'm trying to look through this and make sure that everything's in here. But shit is falling out because, um, I don't know. It's holes in the bag. But I don't even know what this is for. And then we got snaps. Oh, um, I think I do know what that's for. 
And they got the little thing for the bra. So, I mean, it came with a couple of little, you know, notions. Um, I usually buy my own notions when I do, like, come across a project where I need them for. Like, if I need a zipper or buttons or something, I kind of go, I go shopping for that myself. That's going to be helpful, but I'm going to go get some more if I need them. This is the fabric that I ended up going to get. Um, I got this all at Walmart. Everything I got from Walmart, this whole thing came as a set, but this came from the Walmart, the fabric came from the Walmart, and the zipper also came from the Walmart. I don't have to show y'all the zipper because y'all know what the zipper looks like, but I got a little black zipper. So boom, I got my scissors, tape measure, all of these things are key things, a seam ripper, and my pin cushion. So that's everything that came inside of this little kit. Now, what I'm gonna do is, like I said, I'm gonna get Justice up and take her to the party and get us some breakfast going. And then once we finish the breakfast, I said, I think I said I was gonna do my hair first, but I'm gonna do her hair first. I don't know if I said which I was gonna do first, but I'm gonna do her hair first. And then I'm gonna get started on my own. And we're gonna watch a movie while we do it. So a lot of this is gonna be in time lapse, um, just so that I don't have to record the whole process in full speed. I mean, in real life speed. I don't know how I said. I think I was right. But yeah, I'm gonna do it in time lapse so that the video is not like an hour long, or like way longer than that, because it's gonna take me longer than an hour to do this stuff. But um. I'm just going to get straight into it. So I'm gonna put Justice down for her nap and then get myself together. I'm no longer gonna do my curls because <sighs> my brothers, my brothers just called me and so we're gonna get together around four or five o'clock. It's still looking like it's gonna rain, so I don't know if I'm gonna go to that black party. I might like show my face, but like I probably won't stay if I even go. But. I ain't gonna do something to my hair, yeah. stick my edges down so I don't gotta be looking crazy. Put something cute on, you know, like pull myself together. Ah. And I'm also going to get started on my phone project if I still got the time. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get started sewing once I get done with all of that stuff. So I'm just about to go down. I'm gonna get myself together and we'll be right back. Okay, y'all, so I am back, and these are my pattern pieces for my bralette that I'm gonna make. Um, this is really just for the cup part. I'm going to figure out how I want to do the straps later on, but I just wanted to get this done. Um, I'm gonna show y'all how I do this. Very simple, very easy. I'm gonna walk through it in just a second. All right, y'all, let's just go ahead and get into that bralette pattern. The pieces that I'm showing you right now are right side pieces. It's gonna be a center piece and a right side piece. What I'm about to work out for y'all on the paper is going to be a left side piece. So if you need a left side and a right side, all you're gonna have to do is flip them over. I made two of them so that I could demonstrate it for y'all. So you wanna start off with your piece of paper. You can use notebook paper or cardstock or whatever piece of paper is big enough. I have a pen and my ruler mat and I'm gonna start by putting those holes of the paper on the bottom because I don't want those on my pattern. I'm gonna go on the left side of the paper and just draw a straight line down. 
and this is where we're going to work off of. So from the straight line, we're gonna make a seven inch square. So you wanna measure out seven inches on each side. The seven inch measurement comes from my bust measurement, so it's gonna be from the middle to the side. On either side, it works the same way. So you're gonna go seven inches all around, and you should come out with a seven inch square, and I'll show y'all when I'm done. All right, so here I am. You'll see me draw my final lines, and we have our seven inch square. So from the seven inch square, we're going to measure out halfway, which is gonna be 3.5 inches. Halfway mark on each line, mark it, and make straight lines to connect those. So this should make the square into a quadrant where you should have four different sections, 3.5 inch squares. You should have four 3.5 inch squares. And I'll come back when I'm done with that. All right, so you should have your 3.5 inch squares. And now we're gonna begin to work on the measurements. So the first marks you're going to make are going to be 3 fourths an inch away from the middle line. So you're going to make one to the left and to the right on the bottom. And then you're going to connect those lines with an inward curve to the center, okay? And so you'll see me drawing my curve here now. So once you have your curved lines, you want to go to the top and you're going to make two different marks up here. You're going to make one inch to the left and one inch to the right, as well as three fourths of an inch to the left of that mark and to the right of that mark, if that makes sense. So on both sides, you should have two marks. One is one inch away from the middle and the other is one and three fourths inches away from the middle. Then you're going to come back to the bottom and on the left side you're going to go up one inch and make a mark on the right side you're going to go up and make a mark at one inch and then also over at three-fourths of an inch and so you'll see me showing you that that three-fourths of an inch is going to connect to that three-fourths of an inch at the top and so that one inch on the left is going to connect to the three-fourth inch on the top hope you guys are keeping up and if that makes sense i'm connecting them with straight lines and then showing you as i go so that you can see how they come to make the shape so that's that first line from the bottom your three fourths out all the way to the edge and then you're going to connect those ones to the top as well At this point, your shape should look like this. And the last line you do have to draw is going to be from the center to the top. And so I just use the edge of the ruler mat again to make these lines. And then I'm also going to label them. The piece that is on the left side is going to be the center. And the piece that is on the right side is going to be the side. This is actually a left-sided piece. So if you wanted to make a right-sided piece, the only difference that you would make is that three-fourths mark at the bottom because that's going to make it a little wider on the side than it is in the center. So now I'm just marking them left and right, and I hope you guys enjoyed this pattern. I end up working on this. Remember to leave seam allowance because I didn't. So. Okay, y'all. So I'll just a step picked up by my dad, um, we chopped it up for a little while, and I did end up starting to sew, but once I finished, I realized that I didn't leave anything wrong, which is a very common mistake. So, it came out real cute, but I have to, well, I cut out pattern pieces that do have seam allowance, and um, I'm going to sew it together once I get back to the house, and also, I sewed with my sewing machine 
And even though I didn't have a table, I set it up on this chair and I've been making it work. So like I said, when I get home, I'm gonna get back on the machine and sew those pattern pieces together. I'm thinking about using the straps that are already made, the top straps that are already made instead of making new straps because those do fit. I was going to leave the piece as is and just give it to somebody who's a little smaller than me, but no. So I'm going to use those straps and I'm also going to upcycle those shorts when I get to the house if I can, but I'm just in my own house chilling. I'm in my nephew's room. He's watching, I think Miss Rachel or something like that. But, my breakfast is on the grill, so I'm actually about to go out there and hang with them for a second. Um, yeah. See, I'm gonna go home. Alright. So, I'm home now, and I just wanna show y'all, like I said, these are the straps that I need. And then, here are my. make it short and then I'll make like some little loops and another string so this will be the waist end but I'm gonna Okay y'all, so at this point we've got our cups finished and we're about to start working on the waistband part. And the way that I do this is I do it inside out so that it is a seamless ending. So you wanna set your waistband out. You wanna fold it, like you wanna open it up so that you've got the right side of the fa fabric facing up. And then you're going to find your midpoint on the waistband and you want to set your brow cups however it is that you want to set them i want them an inch apart in the middle so you're going to set one of them half an inch away from the middle and then the other half an inch away from the middle if that makes sense so here i am laying the waistband down and placing my cups i pin them and then i pin the cup out of the way so i'll like try fold the cup and pin it out of the way so that while i'm making this seam the cups don't get sewn over because they will be on the inside of the waistband at first and you want to make sure that you don't sew over the body of the cup you just want to sew along the bottom seam of it so i'm pinning those right now and then i end up moving it up on my binder so that you guys can better see how it is that I'm pinning them out of the way. You still can't really see it. I'll do another video like fully demonstrating how I'm doing this process. This is really more like just a work with me, but just pay attention, keep up and practice, 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 practice. So like I said, I'm pinning the cups out of the way and then you pull the straps to the side. So I'm just gonna let the rest of this play out. There, there I have the, cups pinned already and I'm moving it up to show you how 
I'm pinning the cups out of the way now. And then like I said, once you pin it out of the way, you just set that strap off to the side so that it is also out of the way of the seam. I'm gonna let the rest of this play out and see you guys later. All right, so here you'll see me just taking out the pins and turning the piece inside out so that it can be right side facing out. You wanna be very careful because you have those pins still in there. Mm, thank you, Justice. You have those pins still in there that you don't wanna poke yourself with. So you're gonna just carefully pull it out of itself and you can use that strap kind of to pull it out a little bit, but I was just um, pulling the fabric, pulling it, and it came out. And so I'll show you guys what that ends up bop, looking bop, like. Bop, bop. All right, y'all. So I end up folding the waistband in about a fourth of the way in. And I also made a strap like the top straps, cut it into little pieces. So I used four little pieces of the strap to make corset loops for the back and one longer strap to tie it. But I'm going to show you guys the final look once I finished it up and hope you guys enjoyed it. Alright, so I'm back and here we are with the final look of the top. The girls look great. Okay, so, and that's it. no padding, no nothing. It's just fitting. Okay, and then let me shift the back. This is working. So then I'm just going to freestyle a little bit when it comes to the shorts. And then I'll post pictures down below the top and the shorts. Come on. So. Okay, I'm done. I did end up finishing the shorts. Mommy, please be careful with this. So I did finish the shorts and. I didn't really do too much to them. No, give me that too. Give me that. I didn't do too much to them. I just changed the um, back pocket on this side. So it matched the top. So this is like the final, final, final look. Um, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Like and comment. Subscribe to my channel. And I will see y'all next time. I'm out of here.